together to help those who need a reason to smile tonight from Metallica to Dave Matthews to John Mayer. And right now, this marathon concert to benefit fire victims is still going strong. Napa strong, Sonoma strong. Good evening, I'm Kristen Z. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Dan Ashley. Tonight's concert called Band Together has been going for nearly five hours now. Tens of thousands of people there to benefit North Bay fire victims. ABC 7 News reporter Lisa Amin Belizean is live at a packed AT&T park. Lisa? Dan and Dion, this event is still going strong, believe it or not, but there's still some people who are flowing out of the stadium. This event was also sold out. 40,000 people packed this place, and it was all for a good cause. Band Together's headliners, Metallica, really drew this crowd in tonight. There's no place here what we you expect. All of the performers, including Dave Matthews and Dead and Company, volunteered to be a part of this fundraiser, meaning everyone played for free. And everyone on stage, including former Giant star Barry Bonds, came here in hopes of making a difference. Thank you, Bay Area. That's why we live here. We ride and die together. Tonight did make a difference to thousands of first responders and fire victims. They were given free tickets and a priority spot at AT&T Park. That's exactly my parents' house. The house Michelle Hammett grew up in, in Coffee Park, is gone. Nothing is left. It was a punch to the gut. It was just, it was crushing. But tonight offered a little break from reality, from the worries, the fears, the unknown. This has been amazing. It feels like I'm back to normal, some kind of normalcy. Over and over again, the ones getting the most praise were the first responders. Many had a hard time with all of the attention. Just something like this, just to give to us back. I mean, we don't ever expect anything. I don't ever want anything back. With the appreciation filling the stadium, Band Together raised more than $15 million. In San Francisco, Lisa Amin Galizian, ABC 7 News.